Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video and today I am taking you through a full dumbbell only home arm workout. Now, a lot of you have been asking me for dumbbell workouts and I thought, well, why not start with arms? Because arms are probably the most important things that you want to stay big while stuck at home. Um, so all you're going to need is a set of dumbbells for this workout. It doesn't matter the weight. Uh, so if you do have a lighter dumbbell, just increase the reps. And if you have a heavier one, decrease the reps. We're just going to try and hit close to failure on each set. and Let's get working out. So I've got 15 kilo dumbbells here. Um, so rep ranges will change. So this isn't gonna be your run of the mill exercise. We're not just gonna do bicep curl, skull crushes. We're gonna add little flares, little twists to make this interesting and maximize uh, each rep and each exercise for uh, the exercises because we're just stuck at home. I mean, you can just do dumbbell curls and skull crushes, but you want to mix things up, you're at home, you want to get creative, you want to make the most out of each exercise. So it's going to be six A's, six exercises, it's going to be three supersets, we're going to superset biceps and triceps, it's going to be a big pump, you can do as many sets as you want, but we're going to go for four on each one, and let's get it. So, we're going to be doing biceps into triceps, so the first exercise is going to be a twist and pulse cut. So you're going to come up in the hammer position, you can twist, and then up, and all the way down. We're gonna go for 10 reps. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. You don't have to maximize the Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath, every heartbeat. We don't want to be using too much swing. You really want to lock your elbows in. And the reason why we're throwing in the twist, you're going to be hitting not only your bice, your short head, but you're going to be hitting your long head as well. And these extra twists, more tension, more muscle fibers being teared, more gains. So we're going to do this straight into our next tricep exercise. Right, so our next exercise, we're going to be doing skull crushers into a close grip press. So. The twist is what we're doing with the skull crusher. As you're coming down, standard, but as you come to the top in the pre-contraction, you're kind of twisting your wrist up. What it's gonna do is gonna help with the peak contraction of the movement, gonna really, really fire up the triceps. As soon as we've done 12 reps of them, you're gonna get into a close grip press, lock your elbows in, and burn out. So, let's give it a go. So, with the twist, standard procedure, coming down, as you come up, one, twist, two, Burn out. If you want to focus on the chest here, this is either tricep. One. Right. Ten. <sighs> the reason why we keep it so low, eliminating the chest, maximizing the contraction of the triceps. Hair is still really bad. So we're going to want to repeat that for four sets and then on to the next superset. So next superset we're going to be doing a wide bicep curl incline into a close grip kind of spider curl motion. Because we're only using dumbbells, we're not using any sort of equipment, we're going to have to range your body, move it around to hit different angles. So we're going to want to go for eight reps wide eight reps close. You can have a little break in the middle if you want, but we want to try and do it without break. So, let's give it a go. So, eight reps wide. When your nightmares turn to real life and the ground 
house filled up with landmines. We will face it, standing side by side. both your outer and you're in a, in a head of the bicep that's going to create an amazing pump definitely getting one here and then once you've done that we're going straight into the tricep exercises high intensity today right so once the pump is brewing we're going into the tricep exercise so standing up for this one we'll do an overhead double extension as soon as we finish with that you drop set into one dumbbell and you burn out so I'm gonna go for 12 reps so we're gonna not try and touch them we're gonna keep them away so we're going one, two, try and knock, not knock off my hat. One, burning out, get a nice stretch, hold it there for a second. Let's go, boy. And the last one, hold it. Stretch out that tricep. Stretch out that fascia. And then contract. Boom. Woo! Ah, I am knocking off my hat loads of times. Getting a decent pump and we're gonna to wanna to do that again for four sets. So that is quite a lot of reps, but volume I've always found is the best way to go for arms. Now, me, I train my arms, let's say four sets on biceps, four sets on triceps per week. I stopped training arms because when I was younger, I used to do literally every day. The only day I didn't train arms was the days which didn't end in Y. So, <laughs> But guys, lots of volume is the best way I think to train arms. Your arms will react well to it. So this is exactly what this workout is. So let's get into the last superset. All right guys, so now we're taking a nice seat on the sofa. We're gonna be doing a Zotterman concentration curl. So you've seen this move. It's like the classic move when you hear, hear biceps. So we're gonna be resting our elbows on your leg. We're gonna be coming up and twisting down. One, two, four reps. Two more. Oh, I can guarantee you that's gonna get an insane pump. We can do the same on the other arm. But again, this workout, we're not doing loads of exercises. We're only doing six exercises. But with each exercise, you're hitting your tri uh, biceps and triceps in such a complete way. So we're, again, we're hitting the outer and the inner head of this one. We're really concentrating on that peak. So once we've done this, we're gonna move on to our tricep exercise. So for the last exercise in this arm workout, we're doing a cross body tricep extension. Now these are actually really hard. It works really, uh, works the outside of the tricep, so the lateral head really well. Um, a lot of people don't do it. I mean, you can do it with the cables when you're in the gym, but we're only at home. We've only got a set of dumbbells. So we're gonna get on our backs. Gonna grab the dumbbell, make sure the hat doesn't fall off. So instead of doing a skull crusher and coming back, we're going to cross our body to the side of the head, we're gonna come up. Shoulders wanna stay still, elbow doesn't move. Coming down, again, two. 12 reps. Pick up my 
That's really, really good. Now you might get... Oh, don't look at my hair. <laughs> don't worry guys, hair, hair video and how to sort this out is coming soon. Domi's gonna sort me out. Um, but that is a great tricep exercise. But a little tip, you wanna keep your shoulders retracted. So remember scapular retraction, probably one of the best things you need to do with training. Um, that will fail safe your whole body, ensuring that you're not gonna pop anything. So again, you don't wanna be leaning forward because Doing that will cause a lot of injury in the shoulder. Keep it secure as long as you're contracting um, uh, and keeping it back, you won't have too much pain. That's a really good tricep exercise. So again, you wanna do four sets of this and you will get a huge arm workout. All right guys, so that wraps up the arm workout. Like I said, it was only a short one, it's only a quick one, but these exercises alone will ensure that you get a complete workout for your arms. Now, I didn't include forearms in this because trust me, doing these exercises will set your forearms on fire. I never train forearms. The only reason they look like this is because I don't, I train back with limited straps and as long as you're doing a lot of hammer movements, you're contracting well with your arms and you're going close to failure on each one, they will grow. Um, so a little question, a few questions I've had before. It's like, can you change the shape of your biceps? Can you, you know, make the gap in here bigger? You, you can't. Like, there's two different types of bicep heads. There's a short head and long head. I actually have a long head, okay? When it's down, it's, uh, you know, comes down quite far. But when it's like that, it doesn't peak too high. It's pretty, like, just fat. That's a long head. If you have a really high peak, but when it's down, it doesn't look that big, that means that it's got a short head. You can't change the shape of that. I've had a lot of questions, so I just wanted to cover that. But that wraps up the workout. If you do have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you do like these workouts, I'll be sure to do more. But I don't know about you, I just can't wait to be back in the gym doing proper workouts. Um, so me and Domi have just started our diet, so I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video on a full day of eating covering our diet soon, what macros we're on, and that will come up soon. But I'm gonna start, you can tell like I've really energized right now but hope you enjoyed the video guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe already smash that like button and i'll see you in the next one